Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're here on the ninth assignment for Damascus, a somewhat dangerous province. And uh, because it's a somewhat military map, I I've figured out a military themed block, which is weapon blocks. And we're going to be drawing swords and bows and maybe things like crossbows and shields and stuff like that as well. So let's go ahead and get this started. The Empire's western provinces are bustling since my consolidation program succeeded so well. Now I want to apply the same policies to our eastern borders. Damascus is a good place to start. Build a medium city there and absorb the natives already living in the province. Nameless nomadic raiders have long plagued the province and Egyptians have given us trouble over the years too, despite Alexandria's inclusion in the empire. The land there is not especially good for building or for farming. I am confident that you won't let that stop you. Your success will go far towards calming the East. All right, so we're here on Damascus, pacify the East, going for 6,000 population, 55 prosperity, favor 40, culture 55, peace 50, nothing too fancy. So let's go ahead and go to the city. Now, uh, earlier we were testing out this map and there were some immigration problems. So I am going to be doing weapon blocks on this, by the way. I'm going to be doing weapon blocks, uh, but... But, uh, because this map is sort of weirdly shaped and hard to do uh, mazes and stuff like that to get around the immigration glitch, we're gonna start out with a simple formula to bypass the immigration glitch. By the way, the immigration glitch is what happens on very hard difficulty where between the populations of 200 and 300, people are just unhappy no matter what you do and they move out. So if you can't go from 200 people to 300 people, in one shot with immigrants already on the map, people just move out until they're below 200, then they move in until they're above 200, and then move out until below 200, and there's nothing you can do about that. You could lower the difficulty to hard until you cross 300 population, but we're trying not to do that. So, let's build seven 2x2 two two houses first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna start there. Drop a pre prefecture drop an engineer's post and put a temple to each god across the road from these houses. So Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. That'll keep the gods happy and also provide some water access here. And just to make sure these houses do evolve, plaza up the road in front of them. There we go. And then wait for all of these houses to move in. And it should get you to 196 people. Okay, so they've moved in, they've evolved, so now there's room for more people to move in. And that's going to bring us up to 196. There, that these last couple immigrants here should do it. 196, okay. So, we're just below 200. So with that, we now need to go and build far, far away and try and get something uh, reasonable. So I know I'm going to do weapon blocks eventually, but just to, to make sure we get past this immigration glitch, which seems a little trickier on this map, I'm just going to clear off all of these trees here. Let's slow the game down. Clear off these trees here so we can make a nice, decent sized block right here. And I will eventually get rid of this block but I just need to get past the immigration glitch. Okay, that looks reasonable. And I, I like keeping things a bit more of a natural look, not so, not so, there we go, yeah, there. And we're gonna go ahead and build an easy to manage block. One, two. Something that just goes around like this. Easy block. And by the way, you want to wait one month because Governor Julio in chat reminded me and told me basically that you can only have 192 immigrants per month. So it's May now. So to be safe, I'd wait two months just in case. So it's May, uh, May, June, July. So in July, we will build more houses there. But for now, we want to make sure that the immigrants don't have a straight path in. So I'm going to try and maze them around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put wells here. 
to make sure that they can't just cross there. I'm gonna try to not upset the natives here. We can build a well there and there, and well off here. Make sure they can't pass through there, can't pass through there. Okay, so they're gonna have to walk around this oasis here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And without spending too much money, could I make this any better? I probably could. Uh, you know, a little bit of a maze wouldn't hurt. And I think I'll do one right here. So we could just make sure that's blocked off. And then I could... Yeah, do this. I'm gonna create a well maze. Now, I hate doing well mazes. It is, of course, easier to do with walls, but... Uh, it's cheaper to do with wells, because each tile of well is only five denarii. So we're gonna do a little bit of a maze here, just to guarantee that there's enough immigrants on the map to move in. Okay. And we'll probably go one more. The longer the travel path, the better. And what happened to my feed? Why did it just all tab out of the game? <laughs> Couldn't you have done the same by deleting rows of trees? Yeah, but there's not that many trees to work with here. It's a little tricky. And this should be a decent enough well maze. That should be long enough, I guess. So there's a well maze. So the immigrants are gonna have to come up here, travel through the well maze, and then get into these houses, which we will put down a little bit later. Ah, so now, we're waiting two months. It's currently May. How's our... Uh, it's 76 unemployment, so to make sure people remain happy, we're gonna drop this. We're gonna increase our wages to eight. And also, this is a military map, so let's hold a festival to Mars. So we can get a blessing there. And also, meanwhile, looking at our exports possible, we can export wine, oil, furniture, and olives. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up a bit of a timber industry here. We can just go like uh, two timber yards right there. So we will eventually, don't worry, we will eventually go into um, so one, two, three, four. We will eventually go into weapon blocks, but we need to get past this immigration glitch first. So this should deal with unemployment and also pro produce furniture, which we could sell. So with all that working, that should... What's the... 76 unemployment. Let's get all of these working. Come on, brown walkers, pass those houses. 32%. Mercury has uncovered produce in my granary, apparently. 3%. Perfect. So we've got low enough unemployment. Can I fit another just to completely solve? Yeah, that should completely solve that. So it's now June. So just now was May, June. We're gonna wait until July. There we go. It's now July. So two months have passed just to guarantee. And now we need to get enough immigrants on the map to cross to 300 people. Now, a, a nice little tactic to make this a little bit better is to build the houses on the far side first and then the where the immigrants are going to come from uh, last. That way the immigrants will reach here and here roughly at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a nice row of houses there. And a nice row of houses here and here and here and here and here. And then we make our way up here. So this might be a little excessive, but I want to make sure we, we get past this. You think that's enough houses? That should be enough houses, but you know, we've been struggling. And a bit of extra population at the start will not hurt. So let's put down... Actually, no, let's not put down the prefecture yet, because that's just going to burn down. So with all those houses there, we can now speed up the game and watch the immigrants stream in. So, but in theory, we should be able to get 192, I think Governor Julio said, 192 immigrants. And we need that many because once we cross 200, series boost of fertility. No, I want, I want the Mars blessing. Mars. Mars, come on. Uh, 
we need that much because as soon as the first immigrant moves in, people are going to start moving out and that's going to be very, very bad. Is there really not enough employees? That's a little annoying. I guess we do need to just clear that out to get that working. Okay. So here's a nice big stream of immigrants, and they're going to have to go through the native lands they're graciously allowing us to pass, and they're going to have to go through the well maze into these houses. Okay? Should be good. Should be good. This seems to be enough. Hopefully. There we go. And now we could break open the well maze here. So any new immigrants, not the ones that have already spawned, any new immigrants are now gonna take the shortcut into here to just sort of try and time things a little bit better as people coincide. So it's a little bit of micro tricks like this that can make things run a little bit better. So there should be some immigrants who cross here, the ones that spawned a little later. There we go. So these guys. So these guys, I'm not sure if I timed it exactly right, but... No, I was a little late breaking it open. But this is better than before. That way, these guys don't have to go through the well maze. And as soon as the population crosses 200, you'll see happiness will go from indifferent to upset. Oh, right. And let's put up prefectures before anything happens. So, we did run out of money. Quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer? Not a problem. Now, prefecture, prefecture, engineer's post. Make sure nothing burns down or collapses. So you can see here, people are annoyed with you, and it's basically just because we need to cross to 300 people. But now with these immigrants coinciding, this should definitely be enough to cross us over to there they are, moving out. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, this is what we have to deal with. This is on very hard. You could lower the difficulty to hard, but we're trying not to do that. And you can see people do start moving out. But I think we definitely have enough immigrants this time around, right? And we're gonna cross the 300, fantastic, with plenty to spare. Very good. So now, we've got some furniture in. Let's start selling it. Let's open this trade route and export as much furniture as we can so we actually have some source of income what else could we sell to them it's olives right which is a little tricky wine and oil goes to the other trade route okay so before we get into the weapon blocks there's venus sending a feeling of goodwill which see it that venus blessing how venus feels about you and does not matter uh, this is just a straight up glitch uh, so I think uh, now we can focus on getting some of our other exports going. So now we can start doing weapon blocks. And we got to do a little block here for oil and olives, right? Oil and olives? Yeah. So what block should we draw here? I want a big housing block made out of a sword. And by the way, there's an idea. Someone suggested drawing Frostmourne. I'll try my best on Frostmourne. But uh, let's, uh, let's draw a block here near this farmland. I have a feeling we could get invaded from here. I'm not too sure. But we need a block here. What block would be good for farmland? You know? Maybe for the farmland, I'll just draw a straight-up shield. Make them big. Yeah, the blocks need to be relatively big to, to actually... <laughs> Uh, makes sense. Maybe a basic sword? But I, I don't want to do a sword and then frost one. You know, a, a basic sword will be easy enough to work with on a smaller scale. So maybe we'll do a basic sword here, and then we'll try draw frost one later on. Right? Let's clear some space. Okay. Keep it natural looking. Okay. Now let's draw a sword that will make sense for farmland. This is totally not an efficient way of playing, by the way. <laughs> Very much not an efficient way of playing. You could have the hilt be three tiles wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That makes sense. Then we could have a very basic sword. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
three. And do a bit of a design. Uh -huh. That should go there. Okay, good, good. That makes sense. And then the sword blade just extends out this way. Now, how long do you want my sword to be? Gamer Zach, 2018. <laughs> and then I guess we just sort of have it come to a point. A little hard to do points, but there, it's a toy sword sort of thing. And you know, for an extra effect, you could just sort of have like a line going through the middle there. Which makes the block way less functional. <laughs> no, that, that just ruins the functionality. We're gonna keep it a toy sword, so it's like a wooden sword. You could call it a dagger if you want. It's a prison shiv block. Does that count as a weapon? I guess it does, right? Look at that tense city there. Anyway, unemployment of 49% is not so good. So let's go ahead and get some things working here. Now, we need some houses to be going around here. It's good to have houses at intersections. What is burning? Is it... Where? Oh. Well, you know, we have, we have too many people anyway. <laughs> now, where do I want to put the houses? We, we probably should have them... Like, we'll need, like... As long as if it's there and there, that actually covers every intersection. So you have to remember the brown walkers have to pass a house. So if I put buildings here, it's gotta like be within two tiles of houses. So if they come down at this intersection, they'll pass that house or that house. If they come around this intersection, they'll pass those houses. Okay. So those are gonna be the houses for the farmland. Once those move in, we can start opening up our other trade routes. It seems like we're already selling furniture, which is fantastic. And let's try not have anything else burned down here. You know, let's put down a couple more prefectures. You know, because fires look a little risky around there. You know, who knew? Tents in the middle of a desert, not so good for, for your fire hazard. Gladiator practice sword. Yeah, you know, come up with a name for, for what this is. It's a, it's a simple sword. You know, I'd love to draw Frostmourne, but that's got spikes and stuff on it. It's a little tricky, isn't it? Uh, we probably, you know, have another no let's let's not let's let's get these houses moving in first and then we want to get olives and wine right 15 units of wine and it'll be like 25 units of oil yeah so let's get our farms down um Two vines, and then four olives. Oh, in case, yeah, you have to imagine. Mars sends a spirit, perfect. If a brown walker walks up this way, they'll never pass a house. So we do actually need a house, or a couple houses, at the end of this road. How do I want to position it? Well, there's no good way to position it, is there? If I just... Uh, 500 people? Okay, no, that's, that's not where I would... You know, I'm trying to make this not look obscene in any way, okay? Guys, understand, understand my struggle. Let's go, prefecture, prefecture. Prefecture. Would three prefectures make sure this doesn't collapse? Okay. 
That should keep everything okay. Ah, I could do the the sword line with houses. You know, I don't think I think whatever I do, it's gonna look a little it's gonna look a little Yeah. <laughs> well alright, alright, that that's whatever. It's fine. Uh we we need warehouses. Um We need three warehouses? Olives, oil, wine. Correct? Yeah. Olives, oil, wine. Get out of the way. So we can have this one except just wine. This one, except just oil. And this one, except just olives. Okay. Unemployment of 37% is good. That should get all of these things working. Um, so next I need the workshops. Oil. Now, I actually want a surplus of things. Workshop wine. Maybe I put down wine workshops first. Wine workshops. Oil workshops. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see if that kills my employment. A scimitar would be cool. Oh, I could try work on a scimitar. That might be something we can do. So once these houses move in... Is anything going to burn down yet? That is not good looking, is it? We just need so many prefectures to make sure nothing burns down. Please, someone put out that fire. Okay. Just in time. Now, these blocks are definitely not efficient, but there we go, we've got a functioning sword block. Shot by 23 employees, perfect. That means I could probably... Can I cut back on anything? You know, any extra olives just turns into olives we can sell. But you know, we're not shot by that many. I never prioritize anything, by the way. Prefectures should definitely have two after water services and engineering and make sure governance and religion has a priority as well. Gods are still feeling okay, but we're going to need temples soon. We do have a blessing from Mars to protect us. But there we go. Let's get these industries going. The faster we max out our exports, the faster we make enough money to build our city. But I think we've made some pretty good... Uh, uh, progress here. Stop trying to sell olives, check prices. You know, I never check prices, but it's probably not worth it, right? Olives, sellers receive 34. You know, if we can sell it, we'll sell it. There we go. Unemployment. Oh, okay. More people have been moving in. So I guess we just push up the oil production. Six? Yeah. Good. Three percent? How many people? Ten? That's another twenty. Three percent. So we could have another olive farm. That looks like a pretty good setup. Yeah. Alright, alright. That looks good. Jack Dye says that's a good slogan. If we can sell it, we'll sell it. <laughs> Business. Business 101. If you can sell it, sell it. By the way, Jack Dice, your name sounds like a, like one of those really... Like you could use the name Jack Dice as, as a character who is a businessman who would sell... Who would say something like, if we can sell it, sell it. You know, imagine walking in like one of those point-and-click adventure games. You come across Jack Dice. Jack Dice, he can sell anything. If we can sell it, we'll sell it. 
Think of that salesman from Monkey Island. <laughs> but a bit more sinister, a bit more sinister. Less endearing, more sinister. <laughs> Jack dies. He gambles, but he always wins. <laughs> eh, 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 ah. Anyway, a bit of money's come in. It looks like we can now open another trade route to sell... That's 500? Okay, perfect. Let's sell all of our oil and our wine. There we go. I remember early, early maps, you know, we could sell wine. I just never sold it because I kept thinking, oh, we're going to need two types of wine for palaces. But you know, you can sell the wine until you get there. So are you... Are we already maxing out sales for furniture? I think we're a little short, right? Rats. Oh, right. Health is a thing, right? You know, if I put a doctor for this block, that should keep our health levels stable enough, right? Alright, so now that we're going to be selling oil and wine, that should bring us all the money we need, right? That's looking, that's looking pretty good. You know, we've been going for about 26 minutes here. This, this is pretty good progress, right? I don't know why I feel like I've made so much progress so quickly on this map. Uh, we, we had a tough start getting things going, but... How is health, by the way? City health is appalling? Yeah, that can be a problem. Uh, health. Clinics. Okay, so we are providing clinic access there. That should raise our health levels. I don't know if we're actually getting surpl surplus olives here, but we could work towards it. Do I have another olive farm there? I always forget, always remember, olive farms, and I think wine farms are good for desirability, right? Is that correct? Yeah, olive farms and wine farms are good for desirability. Just so you guys know. Now, I wanted to boost my timber industry as well, just a tad. This will guarantee we max out our furniture sales. There we go. And we've got a lot of money, so we can now start working on some other block designs as... Oh wait, no, I probably should start military first, right? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea, you know. This is a sword block. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Disease. Is it over here? It's fine. Did that kill my employment? A little bit. <laughs> Alright, this is a sword block. Could we somehow use this? No, it's not close enough to the rocks. Oh, all of this just burnt down. Okay. You know, if we want more people to move in... Let's put a couple of wells there. Maybe that will evolve those houses. Okay. Alright, let's design another block. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Irons and weapons available? Yes, we can produce weapons, so let us figure out how we want to produce weapons. It's probably safest to set it up over here. Maybe I could do like a basic shield to match the sword. That would be kind of cool, right? So we can have like a sword and basic sword, basic shield. So let's clear off some of these trees near these rocks here. So we can get a bit of a... And we'll have... Clear off this. Clear off that. Don't, don't... Don't mind that. They're fine. Don't worry about it. They're fine. Okay, they're not so fine. Okay. They're not exactly peachy. Right, you guys can have doctors. Oh, if people really want doctors, you can have doctors. We don't need those houses coming back. Let's get 
There's more people moving in here, I guess. Just temporarily, temporarily. Because I don't really have a residential block built up yet. So, yeah, we're, we're short on employees, but... Yeah, I'm not too concerned. People dying makes the gods happy, you know? It's fine. Uh, make a military mace a morning star? Ooh, I could work towards that, but not quite yet. Now, if I wanted to do some kind of shield... I need it to be somewhat functional. I could... Have this do that. You could have a very sort of basic... This is way too small, isn't it? This is way too small. That's... It's not going to communicate what I want. Because it's odd because you need to have it up against these rocks in a way that will actually be usable. that way. Then we could have the shield come up. And you know, shields can have sort of curves, because I know they, they sort of catch uh, swords in those. And that's not right. I always suck at symmetry on these. How much? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it can come to a point. That that is wrong. That is very wrong. <laughs> I think that. Okay. Okay. That looks kind of cool. You know, and the best way to make a shield look like a shield, just draw a cross on it. Bam, look at the map. Not bad, right? Is that in the middle? I think it is. Is this symmetrical? I think it is. And then we can just have, like, some houses there. How do I make this look? You know, just do that. Houses there, some houses there. And you know, to make it look extra shieldy, bam. Plaza up the cross. Now it's a crusader. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a start. Is the plague over, by the way? I'm not sure if the plague is over. It looks to be yes, so let's clear off all of this, you know? We don't actually, um, let's get that road short, you know, I'd rather have a house right in the middle of that block for stability. And we don't need to use this whole block for weapons production, so this can actually be a little, what is that? Enemies closing? Are we under attack? I missed the, the invasion message, apparently. Um, okay, well, let's uh, get an iron mine down. Try and be efficient with this. Raw material, iron mine. Uh, workshop weapons, which can go along this right side, I guess. Have a warehouse stuck up. You know, there's no real way of making these things look good. Uh, we, we're not selling weapons, so we don't actually need to produce that much. So let's set this to accepting just weapons. There we go. 
So we're gonna start getting weapons in. We're gonna need some military. So let's put down the barracks, which can go right next to the weapons storage. And we will need a military academy as well. But we kind of need people. So, you know... Get some people moving. Actually, no, don't do that. We, we just built a reasonable block which we can use for housing. So, you know, bam. Yeah, that. That'll do. For now, temporarily, we're gonna do that. Plaza that up, keep people happy. Our population's hitting a thousand people though, surprisingly. A thousand people. Prefectures and engineers! <laughs> Guys! We almost ruined everything. You know what? You guys can also have a doctor. <sighs> okay, I ruined it by on being too focused. Stop zoning out, guys! I'm so happy this city is actually working. Let me let me zone in on it once in a while. <laughs> okay, so we're shot by 89 employees. Uh, this moving in should be good. Uh -huh. Let's let these guys move in. Distant battle, okay. So military is gonna start becoming a thing here. Let these people move in. Thank you. Oh, we are actually uh, supplying extra olives here. Perfect. How are our exports going, by the way? 7 of 15, 10 of 25, 10 of 25. I feel like we should be selling more than that, right? Oh, it's because we're a little short on employment, right? So now, Military Academy, we can just... No, I'm gonna move this. Stick it right there. Now, we can start putting down forts. I need javelins and legionnaires. Let me slow the game down. Pick a nice spot for it. Where do I want to put my military? It's got to be somewhat centralized. I know we can clear off that well maze as well. But uh, I probably won't be putting any blocks right here. And I don't think I'll be building too much up there. They might invade from there. I think I'll put the forts right here, for the most part. It's a relatively small map. I'm not going to be building on this side at all. So if they invade from that side, it's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to put down the forts right here. Let's clear off some space. We're going to tuck them away over here above the sword and shield. Yeah, that'll look good. Uh, we'll go into debt for this. Do I go javelins first or legionnaires first? We have no weapons. Let's put down javelins first. Uh, so javelins can go down this side. This is four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the closest I want it to be is there, right? Put it up to there. Fort Javelins. Okay. Let's wait for more money. Then I'll put down a fort. Yeah, you can par me all you want. We're gonna start getting javelins. Short by 42 employees. More people moving in. Okay, that's good. We can... Do I want to put down more houses here? I'll just put them down here for now. Just put them down there for now. 
for legionary. Oh, look at all that money. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Now we can start training up our military. Weapons are going into the barracks. First unit of weapons coming in. Fantastic. Anything gonna burn down? Anything gonna collapse? Nope. The gods. You guys are spamming Zach gods. They are all displeased, unfortunately. Uh, so, let's make them not displeased. Uh, we're probably gonna need, you know... The shield can have... A temple to Venus. And the sword can have a temple to Mars. Because, thematically speaking, it makes a lot of sense. And then we can put a temple to Ceres over here as well, because farms. Yeah, do I want to put them there? Probably not. Just stick them there. Temple to Mercury. We can stick that at the top of the shield. Temple to Neptune. You know, we don't really have anything sea related. I, I actually don't need to build temples in Neptunes, do I? That was one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That'll keep the gods happy. Look at those javelins and legionnaires coming in. We're still in the white for our money. Okay, okay. And the shield, sword and shield looks good on the map. Surprisingly functional. Surprisingly functional. And are we actually maxing our exports? I feel like we're a little short. Do we have enough people? Unemployment's in. No, I think we are just about maxing exports now, right? One more batch of traders coming in. That should max it out. Just buy that. Thank you. So that is 22 of 25. Huh. I think with full employment, we should max it out. Did we just max out wine sales? Yes. Are we going to max out oil sales? This guy should. So we maxed. How are we not selling olives? Oh, we're not selling olives. No wonder. We haven't been selling olives. I thought I was. <laughs> I didn't turn it on. Okay, there we go. So now we should be maxed on all exports, which should be good, except for the natives buying stuff, which uh, I will work towards a little bit. I'm just kind of concerned about this first invasion. I mean, we do have a blessing from Mars, and I also need to demolish all of that crap. So we should probably start thinking about building our first proper residential area. You know, there is a lot of farmland here. The next bit of farmland is here. Can't really build there quite yet. You know, I would like a housing block here, a small housing block. What, what weapon would be nice and small and we can put it right here? Uh, it should be relatively small as well because we probably will get invaded from this side. Which reminds me, I probably want to like, make sure this side is actually walled off. In case anything does come through this way. We will not be building anything. On this side. Yeah gonna be good okay so if something does invade from that side I will be rather concerned there'll probably be uh, towers here yeah, just in case make room for a bit of towers
Where's our barracks? It's on our shield, right? Okay, and there can be a gatehouse sticking out from here somewhere. Okay, so towers will eventually go there. Military is looking good. A dagger, a stone, Governor Julio, a stone. Although the most primitive of weapons, maybe not. A hammer? I don't want to do a dagger. <laughs> shuriken. Can I even draw a shuriken? That's a bit tricky. You know, a hammer might actually work. Because that's a nice, simple design, right? Let me give it a bit of space. have it face this way. You know, that'd be a bit harder to read, but... No, no, it would actually make more sense. Alright, a hammer it is. We have... But rounded corners, look, I've got some style. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I will move that <laughs> to somewhere that makes a bit more sense. There we go. Okay. Now this can be a nice housing block like that. Fill that up like that. Let's fix these roads like that. Nice small hammer block. Bit too close to the fort? Don't worry. I'm not putting houses there. Ah, see? I'm smart. No houses are gonna go there. Don't worry. there and a house there okay and we can have houses along here leaving space for I don't know oracles or whatever so we can have nice filled up blocks uh, can farms fit here got to be careful You know, if I evolve these houses, that should be enough to start clearing off most of that. That should be okay, how it is right now. Okay. And also, while we're at it, let's clear off all of these. No more well maze. Because if we get invaded from this side and they destroy the wells, that could affect our peace rating, I think. Because it's considered them destroying our city. Well, they are not destroying this city today. Okay, well maze is now gone. This block needs to burn to the ground. So we're going to wait for the, this hammer block to come on in. Uh, meanwhile, we could just sort of clear some of these trees to plan how to get some food into this hammer block. Yeah. There's actually a, quite a bit of farmland here. Speed things up. Military's looking good though. They are academy trained, right? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Furniture coming back in. All the workshops working. Good. Now let's get uh, prefectures.
10 weapons in 36 months. Okay, we can do that. Just make sure nothing burns down. <laughs> All collapses. I'll just put extras of those. Okay, and look at all this money. You know, I'm just gonna plaza up the hammer block immediately. It's a gilded plaza. A gilded hammer, rather. That should get things going there. We can also shift the temple over. You know, this Mercury temple looks a little weird sitting there. You know, Mercury, come on down. Uh, you get to sit. Right here. So we'll keep some room here and some room here. There's lots of room to do things, okay. Any other temple? Let's move series over. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. FYI, that money is coming from oil, wine, furniture sales, not from olives, even if they are buying olives. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know the olives are not making a lot of money, but look, we could sell 25 olives a year. 25 olives translates to uh, 34. What? Can someone just open up a calculator and translate 34 times 25? 34 times 25. That's how much we make a year from olives, okay? 11% unemployment. We can start clearing this garbage off. the doctor right here. That should function appropriately. 850? That's 850 a year from the olive sales. I know it's little comparatively, but uh... 850 is 850. There. As this house, this block here evolves, we can... Uh, vegetables, fruits, Vines, pigs. You know, I always like fruit farms, but fruit farms are good for desirability too, right? We're gonna need a granary. Let me slow this down and plan this properly. Uh, farm. Fruits. a bit awkwardly placed. If I want a granary there... the houses to there. Double up on the prefectures and engineers post to make sure things are properly secure. And go fruit farms here. Oh, that sucks. And also, I just realized if we are invaded from this side, we're gonna need gatehouses, aren't we? Make some room for gatehouses. Okay. 
That looks good. How's our military looking? Almost full on those two forts. That's a bunch of fruit farms looking good. Uh, we kind of want this road to extend out this way so that we can actually have like some houses here. That will stabilize. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then have this road turn this way. One, two, three. Like that. Have this road come down that way. And how far can the fruit farms go? Oh, all the way. Alright, so we're going up to there, up to there, clear off those trees, put down a prefecture here, engineer's post here, and that will be very stable. Good. I just realized that's not a weapon block. I need to, uh, <laughs> I need to convert this into a weapon block, maybe, because this, uh, it's very efficient, but I just realized I was building for efficiency and not for thematically. Mm. For now, I'll let the fruit blocks do their thing. Uh, the fruit farms do their thing. It's a hook tower shield? Hmm. Maybe I could convert it into one of those. Candy cane block. Look, I haven't done a candy block, but uh, we, we'll figure it out. A hook, might, a hook would actually work really well, but... That's a hook if you want. It's a hook. <laughs> yeah. Chaitanya says that's not a weapon block. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll fix I'll fix it later, okay? The shot by 50 employees, yeah, it's all those fruit farms. Maybe I built too many. Let's get rid of two fruit farms for now. I also need to get rid of those houses there. Once these houses move in, we'll be able to clear that off. Then we can start feeding this block, I think. Yes, should be good. Moved in there. Yes, so we can clear off those. One of our iron mines caved in. That's not so good, because we've only got one of those. Are weapons still coming in? Yeah, yeah. That's all fine. That's good. Hmm. So actually, if I put a house right here, we don't need that feeder house right there. That would be good to have. And then if I just move the engineer's post over there, leave room for a bazaar right here. A bazaar, a market. I've been playing Pharaoh. Uh, market goes right there. We can start grabbing food and start feeding this block. Right? Can I reach at all? Um... That should work. Right? There we go, food's gonna start coming in. So we've got a little bit of an armory around our military here. We've got a sword, shield, hammer, and a hook. It's a hook. <laughs> Use your imagination. This right here needs to go. As people move in and as those houses get fed, we are still short on five employees, but as this, this block over here will be destroyed. I think uh, the market lady has grabbed some food. Oh, these baskets are so heavy. I'm taking fresh supplies back to my market. <laughs> okay, and we can just keep the fruits coming on in. Fruit farms are good for desirability, so we can leave that going. How do I get water over there? I'm gonna need a reservoir to come round or something. I never cleared these houses. We don't need those houses anymore. Okay, okay. Look at that. These have now evolved. They need fountain access. We'll let them get fed up 
the fed up first. I'm not sure if one bazaar is probably going to struggle a little bit covering this whole area. How could I uh, make it work a little bit better? Do I even need that well there? I don't think so. Yeah. We could have another market right here. I probably don't want to put down... How much food just got in there? Oh, we, we... oh, you just went to grab more food, okay. Yeah, we need more farms. Let's keep that going. Okay, looking good. The market needs to be in the center. You know, one market is probably not going to cut it. I'm going to have two markets. That's fine. Employees needed. Okay, that's fine. Anything going to burn down? Anything going to collapse? I'm a little concerned about... No, it should be fine. We have four... Four prefectures there. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's looking really nice. I could make a little bit of room here. Try get a reservoir coming on over. Can I put a reservoir like right? It's no real. Let's try that. And if I just had the aqueduct come on over, just open that up. Can we get fountain access? Uh, it's a little tricky. We could start with that. For aesthetics, I'm putting two fountains there so we can now get rid of these wells. Does that hit that? It does. Okay, so the head of the hammer is gonna be able to evolve a little bit better. For now, for now, until I figure out how I want to get a reservoir back there. I probably could just swing it around the right side. It's a little inefficient, actually. Oh, but here's the first invasion. This, this is... Uh, this is what I've been waiting for. Can we hold this off? I hope so. Let's start again. Now. Where are they coming from? This side? Okay. Oh, we have a... Uh, we have full military. So we can actually just go ahead and put down a javelin fort to keep training troops on the back of this. And also, I need... I just remembered I need to up our weapon production. Uh, because I need to start stockpiling that for the request. 25 months, 10 weapons. Okay. We've still got time. We've still got time. Now we do have a blessing of Mars. Who are these guys? Oh, the Egyptians. Set Meritaten and Ankhtut Sihathor is here. Along with Hathor, Ramses, Hatshepsut, and Thor Sitator. Mm. All right. Let's bring our troops over. Looking good, looking good. Well, this hammer will... What do you guys need? Entertainment? Right, I forgot. Uh, we can. I did make room for an amphitheater there. And the theater right there. Look at that. And you know what? We can start taxing you too. You can't just keep evolving without taxes. Perfect. What are those? Wait. I have never seen camels in Caesar 3. Is this only on very hard? I've I've never I've never seen that before. Have you guys seen camels before? I don't remember camels being in this game. I've played this map. I've beat this map on hard before. Oh, Mars just wrecked them. Jeez. Well, no, where, where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Camels are always there? Why don't I remember them at all? Really? I need to go check my old playthrough. Get to shooting, come on, shoot him. 
Toss. Wait, is that it? I don't remember camels. Why don't I remember them? Oh well, these houses evolved. Basic educational facilities. Have yourself a school. Uh, we also need to put down things like actor colony. Uh, we can just stick it around this side for now. Gladiator school. Get those properly functional. School children running around. Getting them up to small castles. Very good. Looks like we do need more fruits coming in here. We're just going to do that for now. We're struggling to keep the food supply up, but I think uh, since we just sort of go we're still going through the first feeding, so overall it's okay. Overall it's okay. The gods are all feeling indifferent and we are basically at 2,000 people, so that's pretty good. How's employment looking? Short by 57, really? Uh, maybe I put down too much. Gotta wait for those people to move in, I think. Money looks infinite though, look at that. We have so much money, I could do so much. And overall, this worked out quite well, right? This worked, everything looks really nice. All right, that's gonna be the end of part one of this map. We're doing weapon blocks and overall things have been developed really, really nice. We've made a lot of progress in part one. We're feeding people, we've maxed our exports, we've got a sword, shield and a hammer block and kind of a hook block if you use your imagination. But we're gonna be continuing on into more complex weapon designs later on. Frostmourn is on the table, I might want to do that. But so if you are watching this on YouTube, do just click the button on the screen right now to go to part two and check out the whole playlist link down below. But until next time, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.